أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفكه قولي My very very dear and respectable brothers and sisters السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ویلکم یو آل ان انڈرسٹینڈ القرآن دی ایزی وے اینڈ آئی کانگریچولیٹ یو دیٹ ان شاء اللہ ٹو ڈے این ادر پیج ول بی کمپلیٹیڈ آفٹر ہیونگ ڈن دس کلاس پوائنٹ ڈی آور پیج تھری ول بی کمپلیٹ ان شاء اللہ اینڈ دین وی ول بی اپ فار آور مڈ کوئز اپ کمنگ مڈ کوئز ان شاء اللہ سو Let's begin with the next lesson. But generally, we remember we are discussing the topic of Hidayah and the three group of people, and we have just studied Quran's call, the third pointer on our third page. And now we are going to study the fourth pointer, Quran's challenge. So example of fire, example of rain, Quran's call, and Quran's challenge. So with this, inshallah, our page will be completed. Now, I, I'll invite three of you to come forward, revise these pointers for the page three on the third finger, and inshallah, we'll move forward. So, mashallah, our sister Bushra takes the lead. Yes, sister. Sister Bushra, okay. Now you can unmute yourself. Okay, I couldn't... Um, okay, fire, example of fire, example of rain, Quran's call, and Quran's challenge. Mashallah. Yes, Sister Minhal. First example of fire, second example of rain, third Quran's challenge. Sister, you need to be a little loud, I think. I can't hear you. First example of fire, second example of rain, Quran's call, Quran's challenge. Mr. Shabina, please. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. First example, fire, second example, rain, Quran's call, Quran's challenge. Sister Hanatu. Assalamu alaikum. First example, fire, second, second example, rain, Quran's call, Quran's challenge. Mashallah, sister. So, sister uh, Habiba, these short uh, pointers, please. Okay. Fire, rain, call, challenge. Mashallah. Sister Aisha, short pointers, please. Uh, fire, rain, call, challenge. Mashallah. So, now moving forward, Quran's challenge. So, Quran gave a call that, you know, Allah created us all for the purpose of worshipping Him. And we have been warned that, you know, uh, we should not be making partners to Him. And now, after that, we are being told that there is no doubt in this Quran. If there is any doubt, so this is the greatest challenge of the Quran given for the last 1500 years. Bring any surah like it. So let's look at this beautiful challenge. Seek the lessons from it. So, Allah says, for bringing the surah, get all your supporters, researchers, philosophers, whoever you will and wish and want, bring them all. It could never be done and it will never happen, inshallah. So, proof of prophethood is also provided. Allah mentions his prophet, peace be upon him, with such love and, uh, you know, uh, Possessiveness. So, so we 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 see that within within the word of Abdina, and Allah has made it all easy for us. Let's look at these uh, verses. First, try to look for the meanings of the words which you already know. This is what we try to do all the time. So, Auz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِّسْلِهِ وَدُعُوا شُهَدَاءَكُمْ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِكِينَ Okay, wa in. Wa, what does wa mean? Let's begin and, with the same word also. And. Yeah. And, and mashallah. And. In. in, in if, if. 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 Very good. Fi. In. 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 Rab, you have also studied this. La raiba fihi in the beginning of Surah Baqara. Doubt. doubt. There is doubt. no doubt. Doubt. No. Very good. Mimma, how many parts? Two. Two. There are the two parts of Mimma. Ashala, Mim, Mim and Ma. Very ma. Good. Nazalna. Do the action for Nazalna. What action will you do for Nazalna? We will point Going towards us. Fingers towards you? Yes. Nazalna. So we sent it. Nazalna, we sent it. Allah on Abdina. How many parts Abdina? Two. So, Two no. Parts. Should, should we also break down Nazalna? The... Yes. Nazal Two parts. Yes. We send no, it to... No, please. please listen everyone carefully. We will not break Nazalna. This is a verb. We never break verbs. Remember this? However, Abd and Na, because Abd is an ism and Na has been separately joined together. So, Abdi Na will be broken down into two parts, while Nazalna comes from the verb as we say Fatahna, as we say Nasarna, and we never break them down. So, Nazalna, Nazalna we sent down Allah Abdina. Abd and na our slave okay so i think by explaining this the this expression will become easy for you nazalna ala abdina fatu bi sura tim fatu bi sura so these are new words for us we'll inshallah see to them bi sura is broken down into b and sura min and mislihi mislihi is also broken down into two parts mislihi like it an example like it Okay, up till here, uh, there are new words. We'll inshallah do them. Next word is a challenge for all of you. What is this word, by the way? Is it a ism fail or a harf? What? Ooh. Yeah, 50 of you are sitting with me while only Sister Shamina is responding. Why? What do is what? What is it? What? It is a verb, fail. No, I'm asking, is it an ism, fail, or a harf? Fail. Fail. This is a fail. Okay. If I separate va, how would you pronounce it then? Amr. Amr. Udu. Udu. Mashallah, this is Amr. This is plural. We will pronounce it Udu, not Adu, not Idu, but Udu. And which fail does it come from? Tell me da, the very first. Da, 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 he called upon. He called upon da, yad u, ud u, and ud u, the plural. So that's why we know how do we pronounce it. Wa ud u. So call upon, call them all. Who who should they call them all? Shohada akum. Shohada akum. Shohada, you know the witnesses. But here mm -hmm. the meanings are Shohada, Kum, your partners, your supporters, those who stand with you. You know? So understand the meaning. As a witness is also a supporter because he he he, he testifies for you. So similarly, Shohada, Kum here means call them all your supporters. Min dun illah. So you can call all the supporters the entire world except Allah. Min dunilla, except Allah. Why Nazal Nain Abdi now is in Kuntum? What does Kuntum mean? Kuntum. You are, you are. 
all was yeah, this comes from kana kana kunta kuntu kum tum you all why kuntum sadikin if you all are the truthful ones so let's look at these ones one by one and alhamdulillah allah has made things easy for you for us wa in kuntum fi raibim mimma nazzalna ala abdina wa in kuntum and if you are fi raibin if you are in a doubt if you are in a doubt about what mimma about what what nazzalna so wa in kuntum fi raibim mimma and if you are in a doubt about what nazzalna we have sent down nazzalna by plural please by plural like plural yes nazzalna why why, why plural ala on abdina upon our servant nazzalna ala abdina on upon our servant or upon our prophet muhammad peace be upon him fa tu bi suratin min mislihi so this word fa tu is broken down into fa and a tu then produce or bring bring produce what actually this comes from a fail we will inshallah study at the end of the lesson in a short table ata which means uh, he came but fatu he also brought something so produced or showed something fatu fatu then produce bisura because of this b the meanings have changed b is harf e jar you learnt in qc1 that harf e jar or prepositions change the meanings of the words salli ala salli li similarly fa tu a tu and a tu b meaning change sura sura we know sura of quran like min from like misli he of it so like of it a sura the way the surahs of quran are this is what it means so yeah so min misli he wad u and call upon and call all of them call upon what shahada akum all your witnesses and supporters min dunillah except other than other than allah min dunillah dunillah so other than allah in kuntum sadiqin if you are truthful ones if you are truthful so now look at its explanation وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا If you are in any doubt, this, this word came earlier as I said, لَا رَيْبَ فِي So Allah, in fact, talked before this, this was the ayah, فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ يَنْدَادُ مَنْ تُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Allah talked about, do not make any partners to me, shareholders for me. Now Allah is mentioning here, وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا If you have any doubt about whatever we are revealing, but we'll come to that subject. There is a very special mention here. نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا We have sent down upon our slave, our prophet, our uh, you know, special messenger. So now this is a mention of the Risala here. Of the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, so Nazzalna ala abdina also shows Allah sent His messenger, His message to Muhammad. He revealed Quran to him. Nazzalna ala abdina. Why so he, Allah is using the plural here? Why yeah. plural is used? Nazzalna abdina. No, brother, this is one of the expression very often used in Quran. And this is the style of Quran. And there are very various interpretations. I, I will not go into it. But Allah uses it to show His, uh, you know, greatness. So, shows that Allah has sent His. Therefore, He is the true Prophet of Allah. Abdina also shows the love of Allah towards the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because Allah is saying, Abdina, Abdina. My very special. 
so abdina and if there is any doubt about this call bring a surah like its surahs surahs of quran and interestingly quran did not say this see this subject is mentioned in surah baqara which is the longest surah of quran so quran did not say of this surah allah said any surah because the alif lam is not added to make it a very specific special surah so any surah now if we look at any surah surah qasr is the smallest surah of quran so the challenge stands for the entire humanity to make any surah like surah qasr even and for making this challenge allah said not just you but anyone except allah if you can do it in kuntum sadiqin so anyone so this is now quran's challenge and shows and proves quran as a living miracle that for the last 1500 arabs were known for their language command and fluency and they used to call the entire world as ajam and themselves as arab so the entire world was for them was you know deaf and dumb and they were the speakers only so they were the masters of the language but look at quran's challenge and they have not been able to respond to it till today even this age of i normally say even in this age of ai artificial intelligence and chat uh, gpt this is not possible inshallah it will never happen so so allah is saying your truth your claim is not at all actually that is being challenged what they used to say that you know the prophet muhammad is making this quran himself so the they would always doubt its source that it is from allah so allah made it clear to them in kuntum fi raib mimma nazzalna ala abdina fatu bi suratin min mislihi and for making that sura bring all your partners and supporters except allah if you are truthful and of course it could never be done so look at it look at the difficult words and then we'll move forward okay quick challenge translate fi rai bin okay good one a yes in doubt ba to b a b c d because this is amr so then produce but to very right see this is right answer mashallah so let's now these ayas give us a uh, very interesting and important subject of quran as a living miracle so quran has historical facts it has scientific truths and which are being discovered recently and i always give example of james webb space telescope you can google it on your cell phone you know it has given the new pictures and new depths of the universe so when i look at surah mulk ayah number 4 allah says you know your eye sight will return failed you will never be able to find out the reality and depth and limits of the universe because allah has created it so wide and big so the all its predictions became true all its predictions whatever quran said it's it has been happening we all know this so and then it's numerical miracles the number of times the word earth is mentioned the number of times same number of times sky is mentioned the number of times uh, you know dunya is mentioned the number of times akhirah is mentioned so it's not possible for such a big book and then to be able to maintain such a balance in it then you see arabic grammar if you look at the linguistics of this is extremely sensitive to the arabs you know this fatha kasra damma even the educated arabs do mistakes in their lectures and in the common language they would uh, not use the grammar in the right way but 
Quran is free from any grammatical errors. Rather, Quran became a standard for all the grammar in Arabic. Now, the Prophet, peace be upon him, who is called Ummi, who could not read or write, and it did not go to any traditional way of learning, writing and reading. So, he would say out these ayahs, uh, you know, extempore. As he would listen, he would say it out. He would not write it down, then make editing, clearing it out, refining, and then issuing and releasing the final draft. So imagine, then how is it possible that the Prophet would write these words himself? You know, nobody can say something very powerful and to the, you know, to, to even for a minute without making grammatical mistakes or saying, you know, like for example, you could see me I'm taking so many pauses, stopping, thinking, trying to make my words, but I'm sure still I'm not following all the rules of the language. So that's not possible. Even if I write, you know, when I write something, recently I was writing an article, I would go through it time then, time and again, and then make corrections, corrections, and corrections, and finally publish it. But then again, I'll see some mistakes in it. So it's not possible that the Quran would be a word of a human being. Quran gives a complete system of life. It contains creed, worship, ethics, and laws. When it is recited, it moves us deeply. All these technical subjects, they even make the emotional impact on us as well. And it, it addresses every aspect of human existence. Our mind, our heart, the soul, and intellect, our personal life, family life, social, financial, political aspects. And it took 23 years to reveal. But interestingly, there is not even a single contradiction in it. You know, a book which would be written in 23 years, it is very likely if a human being would write it, that we'll commit some mistakes or maybe we'll say something in the beginning and it will be a different thing now after 23 years. But no such contradiction is there. And look at this beautiful book, the most read book in the world. Recited by millions of people, memorized by millions, learned by heart. The only religious book for the last 14, 1500 years, there's not been a single change in it. Protected, safe. So Quran is a miracle in every way. And this book, it was revealed to the Prophet of Allah, he is the last Prophet and best of all. Most successful of all religious and secular personalities. You remember, we all know, Michael Hart was a Jew, but he wrote a book the, for, the, for uh, the, you know, the most successful hundred leaders. And he could not avoid writing the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's name on the top. So, and then, you know, the people who followed it, they became successful people. We ruled this world for thousand years because of this book. So this book, Bring the glorious history, huge historical impact. It was revealed to the Prophet of Allah who did not know how to read and write. And he never traveled out. And his location where he was located, it was one of the isolated, economically, educationally, a backward region, no university college or schools. So there is no doubt that any human being wrote it. There is no doubt that, uh, you know, this, this, this is from Allah. This book, without a doubt, is from Allah and no human being can ever write any such thing. So, with this beautiful challenge of Quran, we come to the end of the lesson. Now is your time. Look at this verse, translate it to yourself, then look at the running translation and then we'll move forward.
So we take the lessons that it is not possible for anyone to have a surah like it. And Prophet Muhammad's proof of prophethood and Allah's special love for him is mentioned. We pray to Allah to help us to help us connect to Quran in the most strongest ways and increase our iman on Quran that this is from Allah and help us to live a life according to this book and help us have a successful life the way life the way this book helped the entire ummah to live in the past and may Allah bring the same glory to this ummah once again with the help of this book especially in the times when the Muslims are being tortured in the worst possible way, especially in the land of Palestine. So may Allah bring this book to our hearts and minds exactly the way it has helped the Ummah to lead for the last thousand years. So, but brothers and sisters, for that we need to evaluate how much are we making an effort for it? Are we making an effort for our personal learning? Are we making an effort to bring it to our family's life, our society's life, and this ummah's life. If we are going to read it the way we are reading it without understanding it, nothing is going to change. I'm telling you, Allah's principles and law does not change. Allah will give you a rise and will make you once again read this world only if you connect to this. You understand it, practice it, bring it to the life of the ummah, and inshallah, and this is only possible if I, you, me, all of us together, we work in an, in, in an emergency manner to spread this message of Allah to the others. Let's come to the Asma of all. Okay. So I'll say the singular, you say out the plural. So what is the plural for Abd? Ibad. Ibad. For Surah. Tur. Tur. Shaheed. Shahid. Mashallah. Now, okay, let's all of you do the short table of Sadaqa. Now, my brother who asked this question earlier, uh, probably I'm forgetting his name from USA, uh, about the code words. Now, brother, see, Sadaqa, we never learned it earlier. But because of this code of uh, noon, Nasara style, we know it is going to be Sadaqa, yes, to Ustuk. Sadiq must do Sidq. So, uh, it is, it, you know, the codes make it very easy for us. Similarly, look at these codes before. Now, the weak letter codes like Kala, we learned like Kala is Kana. So, easy for us to make it Kana, Yakunu, Kun, Kain, Dash, Kwan. Similarly, on the pattern of Hada, you remember we did Hada, Yahdi, Ihdi. So, Ata, Ya'ti, iti, like ihdi. Ata, he came. Ya'ti, he comes. Iti, come. A'atin, ma'tiyun, ityan. But remember, this has come from a to b. So if it becomes ata b, it is he brings or he produces or he gets something. So da, he, call, he called upon. Da yadu he calls upon udu call upon da in maduun dua okay so alhamdulillah the lesson is complete now let's look at the an announcement an announcement is about your mid quiz and the mid quiz revision uh so as announced earlier I'm once again for the information of all. Coming week, inshallah, we will have your mid quiz. So please start preparing for it. And uh, now, if you give a consent, we it is optional. But if you all agree, we can keep a one-hour uh, orientation. Uh, sorry, revision 
of all the lessons we have done. On coming Sunday, uh, in place of our first class, for example, we'll start at 6 Pakistan time and one hour reunion of the entire uh, lesson 1, 2, 3, part A, B, C, D. And then we'll give you one hour break. And after the break, there will be quiz link, which will be sent in the group and you will attempt it. If you don't want to have a Rivian session, we can start our quiz at six, or we can just have no Rivian, but start the quiz at uh, eight. So whatever is your uh, consent, please let me know. Do you want to have Rivian session? First tell me this in the chat box. Yes, no. If all of you go for yes, then we will inshallah. I mean, still it will be optional. It will not be compulsory for all of you to attend it, but we will arrange it if most of you want to have this. So, mashallah, I see most of you saying yes, right? <laughs> so, our plan for our final plan will be to have a revision session coming week, uh, first of all, and then give one hour break, and then inshallah we'll have the mid quiz. So, mid quiz will come from uh, one to three. Pointer A, B, C, D, uh, which will make it a total of 12 lessons. Yes, sister, would you like to say something? I can't hear you. Sorry? Salaam alaikum, Ashek. Wa alaikum as -salam, brother. Yes, sir. Um, you say 12 lessons. Uh, do that not include the grammar part? Yeah, yeah. For half an hour, we'll do the Quran part and half an hour, the grammar part. Okay, but the quiz, the quiz going to cover everything, both the Quran part and the grammar part? Sorry, sorry, D? Whether the quiz is going to cover both the grammar part and the Quran part? Of course, brother. Of course, of course. The, actually, the the lesson includes both. Okay. Thank you. Salam alaikum, Zaz. Wa alaikum salam wa Yes, brother. For the purpose of planning, when is the final exam? I know it's sometimes in July. Just for the purpose of planning. Yes, brother. I think we have sent a plan. It is probably 28th July, if I'm not forgetting the date. Probably. 28? Yeah. Uh, we have All already right. sent you the plan. Please check it out. All right. Thank you. Uh, by the way, we initially thought of having the mid quiz on 16th of June. Uh, okay. But you, we all know because uh, this Eid is going to fall on 17 or 16. So that will bring a big gap. So that's why the mid quiz is being taken coming week. Uh, so that we could follow our plan for uh, the 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 this course. Uh, okay. Any other question before we come to the grammar part now? And today's uh, word or verb sha is an interesting one, which we are going to learn now. Comes in Quran many many times, two hundred and thirty five times. Sha which means he willed. So let's begin it. And in the grammar lesson, we are going to learn about Shah. He willed. And you can see the weak letter in, in the center, which is Alif. Hamza is another letter, which is at the end. So I'm sure you all know the difference between the two, Alif and Hamza. Okay. Uh, and it's also mentioned in your book, by the way, uh, for your knowledge, you can read it there as well. I normally say the easiest way to remember is, although there is a little bit of change and explanation, you know, an alif without any harakat is an alif. And otherwise, if there is any harakat, that, that, is, an, that is a hamza. So, and we learned that alif is the weak letter, not the hamza. Alif, wow, and ya. So, sha comes in, inshallah. We, have been, we, we normally say it out every day, uh, day and night, inshallah, if Allah wills. Okay. So from there, it is easy to remember Shah. And its pattern is Shah, he willed, Shahu, they willed. 
shikta you will shiktu i will shiktum you all will shikna we will willed or wished so you remember we you know this should remind you in qc1 you learned mil as samawati wa mil al ardi wa mil ama bainahuma wa mil ama shikta you know and fill all that you will you wish you want to you so ma shikta min shay in baat so anyways sha sha u shikta shitu shiktum shena very interesting to see but see the change also here it is shikta shitu shiktum shikna okay unlike the others where the fatha remained there on all but it is becoming sha sha u shikta shiktu shiktum shikna all right so let's see who would like to do the sister aisha from usa is already there yes sister assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam sha a he willed sha o they willed shita you willed shitu i willed shitum you all willed shitna we willed mashallah sister and uh, the the feminine is sha okay sha she, she, she will uh sister aisha iphone sha he will sha they will sheta the uh, you will shetu yeah i will uh, shetum uh, they all will shena uh, we will sister shetum you all will shetna we will and shaat she will right oh, i have a question i have to uh, uh, more like a confirmation is shaat shaa he will a is going to be called a weak verb because of the alif in between right just are you talking to me or to somebody anyway uh sister shini hama sorry sama leku i was asking a question i was muted sorry yeah was, i'm saying that this particular verb sha will be regarded can we say can we can i say it's regarded as a weak verb because of the alif in between so it's a weak yeah, verb. very good very good question thank you for reminding me yes sister it is a weak word verb and this is once again a special category of weak verb with a hamza also mm -hmm. yeah okay. so yes weak but with a hamza earlier we learned a sound verb with a repetitive letter that was another category so this is a weak one with a hamza in it right so thank you for reminding me i i i, I should have mentioned it shau shita shitu shitum shena and shaat assalamu alaikum just to come oh. understand what you said you said it's a weak verb with hamza in it but do you mean that like the alif that comes after the shin is the cause of the weakness right but the hamza follows is that it no sister alif is the cause of the weakness yes but hamza just is there with it hamza is different hamza is also hamza is not a weak letter alif is a weak letter alif is weak yeah yeah so should see it is taking a very different form it is first time it is saying shit ta shit tu shit tum shit na shaat yes thank you okay You're welcome sister shini hama assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam yeah. Sha a he will sha u they will sha cha you will sha tu I will sha tum you all will sha now we will sha at she will. Mashallah, sister Hawa. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Sha he will sha u they will sha ta you will sha tu I will. Shitum, you all willed. Shitna, we willed. Shitta, she willed. Shaat, 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 she willed. 
she will. Okay, Sister Feroza. Salam alaikum. Sha'a, he will. Sha'u, they will. Shipta, you will. Ship to, I will. Ship to, you all will. Ship na, we will. Sha'at, she will. Sha'at, she will, mashallah. So, brother uh, Modu, if I ask to ask you, Halsha Khaira, how would you respond to me? Hal Sha Khaira? Naam Sha Shaida. Hal Shau Khaira? Naam Sha U Khaira. Hal Shita Khaira? Naam Shitu Khaira. Hal Shitum Khaira? Naam Shina Khaira. Naam Shina Khaira. Brother, what does it mean, Naam Shina Khaira? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, yes, we will. Yes, we will or wish the high, the best. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Perfect. Mashallah. Okay. Okay. Emalu ma shiktum. Emalu ma shiktum. Which one is right? A, B, C, D. B. Chat box, please. Aim alu ma shiktum. So, yeah. Aim alu, aim al, aim alu ma shiktum. So, you understand whatever you will or you wish. So, from here becomes yashau, cha, yashau. He wills yashauna. They all will. Tashau, you will. Ashau, I will. Tashauna, you all will. Nashau, we will. Ya tashau. So, uh, and whenever I come to this part of the table, I'm reminded of Surah Kubirat, and Allah says in that, uh, sorry, in uh, 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 what do we, anyways, uh, is a Shamsu Kubirat, that Surah, and at the end it comes, uh, Uh, last time I also took help from my <laughs> son Hafiz to remind me of that ayah. Anyways, yes, sister. sister. So, tashauna, you all will. So, we see these two words there in this ayah. So, it reminds us the meaning easily. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khaira, sister. And please do the mudare forms also. Yasha'u, yasha'una, tasha'u, asha'u, tasha'una, nasha'u, tasha'u. MashaAllah. Okay, sister. Uh, next is. Okay, sister Feroza. Yeshau, Yeshauna, Tashau, Ashau, Tashauna, Nashau, Tashau. Mashallah. Sister Riskia, you have just done it if you would like to. So we can't hear you. Sister, uh, let's have some new people also. And I see Sister Majida. Uh, yes, Sister Majida. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Yasha'u, Yasha'una, Tasha'u, Asha'u, Tasha'una, Nasha'u, Tasha'u. Mashallah, Nashau and Hiya, Tashau. Now, uh, with this, let's come to the it's Arabic conversation. I'll ask the question and you all can respond to me. Okay? So, Hal Yashau Khaira? Hal Yashau Khaira? Hal Yashau Khaira? 
نعم يا جاؤونا خيرا نعم نعم خيرا نعم 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 خيرا نعم 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 Will you all? La tasha, don't will. La tasha, don't will you all? So let's have now. Uh, I'll be happy to see some new names coming forward. I see lots of uh, repetition. Uh, I thank all those who are always taking lead. Okay, Sister Majida. Sha, sha, u, la tasha. لا تشاؤوا سيستر ميسج امتياز شاؤوا السلام عليكم اول لا تشاء دونت ويل لا تشاؤوا دونت ويل يو اول ما شاء الله ميسج امتياز شا ويل شا ويل شاؤوا يو اول ويل لا تشاء دونت ويل لا تشاؤوا Don't feel you all. Sister, Dr. Sadatu Saleh. Sha, will, sha, u, will, to all, la ta sha, don't we, la ta sha, u, don't we, you all. Sha, u, don't feel you all. So, and then sha, I'm, the one who wills. Mashi yun, that which is willed. Mashi ya, to will. That's why we say, Mashi ya tul ilahi. Mashi ya te ilahi. In, in my language normally, it's an expression, whatever Allah wills. So, sha'in, mashi yun, mashi ya. Okay, Sister Minhal. Sha'in, one who wills, mashi yun. That which is willed, Mashia, to will. Uh, sister, Mrs. Imtiaz. Sha in, one who wills, Mashi un, that which is willed, Mashia, to will. Mashallah. Sister Hava. Sha in, one who my she un that which is willed my she ah to will mashallah so hal anta shine everyone respond to me hal anta shine na na shine hal anta shine Okay, the table is complete. See, Shad and the Shau. So, inshallah, with this, you can do always the short table. Sha, ya, sha, u, sha, shine, mashi, yun, mashi, ya. So, with this now, let's also see another word which comes in Quran, usually in the Mazi form also. Ja. Ja, he came. Like in is Ja Nasrullah he will So Ja, he came. But with a little change of the preposition, Ja, be, he brought. So he came with something. He brought. He came, he came with something. Ja or Ja, be. Remember, with the preposition, the meaning changes, right? So let's now. Yes, sister, you are right about the root letters. So Ja, Ja, U, Jitta, Jitu, Jittum, Jitna. Jaad, same pattern of Shah, very easy, nothing different than that. So, just to uh, you know, add another additional, so 278 words in Quran are on the same pattern. Ja, Jau, Jitta, Jitu, Jitum, Jitna, Jaad, Ja, he came, Jau, they came, Jitta, you came, Jitu, I came, Jitum, you all came, Jitna, we came, and Jaad, she came. Sister Minhal. Uh, he came. 
Jaa he came. Jau they came. Jeta you came. Jetu I came. Jetum you all came. Jetna we came. Jaat she came. Mashallah. Sister Aisha. Ja he came. Ja they came. Jitta you came. Uh, Jitu I came. Jitum uh, you all came. Jitna uh, we came. Jat you came. Uh, she came. She came. Uh, Hanatus bint Musa. Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Ya yeah, he came. Kyau, they came. Gitta, you came. Gittu, I came. Gittum, you all came. Gitna, we came. Ya'at, she came. Ya'at, she came. Very easy. An example is Ya'a. When, what came? Is al Nasrullahi. When came the help of Allah? So, anyways, on the same pattern is also another word, khafa, like shah, like ja, khafa. Khafa means he feared or he was terrified, khafa. So, on the pattern of the same, khafa, what will be the three verb keys? A, B, C, D, which one is right? So, like sha, yasha'u, sha. So which one looks right to you? Yeah, mashallah. Perfect. Khafa, yakhafu, khaf. Khafa, yakhafu, khaf. And very interesting uh, uh, amr. You can use it at uh, home also. So, khaf. Khafu, like sha, sha'u. Or la takhaf, la takhafu. Anyways. Nakhafu. Uh, which one is right for this? Nakhafu. This is mudare form, so select carefully. In mudare, both are right, yes. We will fear or we fear Allah. So, hal khittumullah. Hal khittumullah. I'm sure you all can do it right. Hal khittumullah. So, what will you say? Naam. Allah. Very good. See. All going good. Fala tahafu. Fala tahafu. Hum. Which one is right? Fa. La tahafu. And hum. If you break it right, you do the right actions, you'll be able to do the right translation. Fala tahafu. Perfect. So do not fear. Fear them. Do not fear them. Okay. Hal antum khaifun. Hal antum khaifun. So like khaif, it will be khaif. Khaif. Yeah. Naam nafnu khaifun. Alhamdulillah. We come to the end of the lesson and uh, translate into Arabic. You all wish good. Easy to do. Who would like to take this challenge to do this translation? Please come forward. You all wish good. Who would like to do this? Okay, Sister Nita. Sister, unmute yourself. Yeah, oh, Hiram. Could you please repeat again? We could not hear it because of. Uh, Sister, think carefully. You all wish good. Do you think? So, what are the actions we do for it? And you all is plural. And it is, of course, is a mudare. So, you oh. all wish. Oh. Uh, uh, sh look, si look at my hand. This is Tashauna, you all wish. What? Oh. Good. So Tashauna Khaira. Mashallah. I'm happy you have taken the challenge. Actually, important thing is we all take challenge. We come out 
uh, willingly with confidence for learning. So, and, but please remember, I keep on saying these actions and breaking down the words will always help you to make a better choice. So I think rest of them are easy. With this uh, Hafa, I've told you, you can do it on the same pattern. Once again, please remember about mid-quiz and revision. As per the agreement and consent of all of you, we will inshallah have the revision session on coming Sunday for one hour, maybe one hour, 15 minutes or whatever time. Uh, we'll give a very short uh, uh, sort of, you know, orientation on the quiz. And then after one hour break, you'll have your quiz. So coming week, Sunday is your quiz date. Please prepare yourself accordingly. Prepare with the love of Allah. Okay. Keeping in mind what you learned in these two lessons today. Ya yuhanna su'budu rabbakum ullasi. So remembering this, that Allah wants us to do his ibadah. And the best way to do ibadah is to understand his book. So you will all prepare yourself in the best of the ways possible to, to give your mid quiz and get the maximum marks in it, inshallah. Keeping this in mind, so may Allah help us recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, memorize the Quran. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Jazakallah.